This, this is my little cuz. <laughs> and I must say, right today, you know, I get, I guess, the most and biggest satisfaction out of just telling people that the point guard that I played with was 4'11". No, really. I mean, she was 4'11", you know. And, but very, very good. And Sandy's family, they, of course, kept all of, like, our articles and all of our game tapes. And so, I guess a couple of weeks ago, I did get, get a chance to watch the Georgia game, a couple of our games and stuff. And uh, I think, you know, being out there on the floor, you don't realize how talented Sandy really was. I mean, she was definitely before her time in terms of handling the ball. I mean, she was just, she was all awesome. But that's enough about you. When you get inducted into the Hall of Fame, oh, it's about me today, I forget, sorry. But you did a great job and I knew you would and thank you very much. Um, well, first thing I want to say is to God be the glory uh, for what great things he has done. Um, for me and I'm sure everyone in this room. Um, I want to first also thank the committee. I didn't really understand how this whole process went, but then I started running into people like Jamal Mashburn. We voted for you and Tony Delk. We voted for you and Mary Lou. I voted for you. And so for everybody that voted for me, thank you very, very, very much. Um, I also want to congratulate uh, all the inductees. I think everybody asked me, you know, when you first got the call and found out that you were going to be a part of the Hall of Fame this year, how did it make you feel? And I'm thinking, well, I don't, I don't really know if I ever even thought about being a Hall of Famer. But I did run into Candy like two days after I got the word that I was going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. And I asked her, I said, well, who, who's the other people? You know, who's the other inductees? She goes, let me see. Tubby. Rex, it's a really good class. Jesse and I'm thinking, man, this is big time then, you know? I mean, I'm like, okay, this, thank you very much. But uh, just congratulations to the um, inductees, Tubby, Rex. Uh, it's funny, because I was actually uh, Eddie Sutton's receptionist for Rex's freshman year, uh, Marta's little assistant. Marta McMackens and Eddie Sutton did love you. He really did. I mean, he loved him some King Rex Chapman, <laughs> if I must say so myself. Um, you know, and it's funny, because I am from Lexington, and uh, growing up, my dad worked at UK, and I had the pleasure of being able to sometimes go over to the gym when I was in middle school. And so growing up, I got to know Mr. Kitely. He called me Liz, Liz. And Mr. Coggy was one of those people that actually allowed me to uh, stay in the gym after the men's and women's basketball team was finished practice. And I would wait for my dad to get off from work and he would leave the lights on. And sometimes he'd have to come and say, Liz, I'm going to have to close it up today, Liz. So um, Mr. Cotley, and you know, it's just funny because being from Lexington and, and just having been a part of, you don't, I don't think people really realize what all I was able to uh, do and uh, you know get to get to know Mr. Kitely. Uh, got to play at the university. Uh, when I stopped playing, I became the uh, receptionist with Eddie Sutton. Then I became like the receptionist with uh, Sam Newton. And that was when uh, Tubby and Coach Patino and them came along, and I got to know and build a relationship with Bernadette. And uh, ten years later, I became the assistant coach for several years at uh, at Kentucky. And uh, it's just, you know, when I think about that, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing, and I've been really blessed. And so uh, just to stand before you all and accept such a huge honor, um, it's just mind-boggling. But uh, I do want to thank my family. I think Sandy kind of summed it up. I, I was going to talk a little bit about them, but she talked enough about them. And uh, that is a true story about my mom. I think I really had a quadruple double. Uh, <laughs> My sophomore year, I think I, I, I think I had like, like 10, 11 turnovers a couple games because <laughs> I did have to wear my nose brace the whole year. And, and what happened was uh, I broke my nose against Indiana. Yes, my youngest sister, she played at Ohio State, matter of fact, but a little bit about 10 years younger than me. But she did run out on the floor and stop the whole thing because there was blood gushing. And so uh, I remember after the game, they told me, you know, your nose isn't broke. But, you know, when you're used to looking in the mirror, you can tell when your nose is out of, out of place. So I'm like, yeah, it's broken. So I, they had a plastic surgeon fix my nose. 
And uh, they said, well, you know, your bones are, your facial bones are the fastest healing bones in your body. And you should only have to wear this brace for maybe a week. So I did. And so the day that I stopped wearing my nose brace, my roommate, we were doing zigzag and I don't know, I tripped over the line or something and my nose actually hit her forehead. And uh, I went, and that was the day I was supposed to go back to see Dr. Andrew Moore and I broke it again. So uh, I had went through surgery, everything, was wearing a big nose brace. And back then it was a white nose brace. And you actually, I mean, this is, I mean, this is what it looked like. I had no peripheral vision. I couldn't see my teammates. I mean, the only thing I could see is that basket. That was a good thing. <laughs> I mean, so when I was supposed to get it taken off, um, Coach Hall, I remember it, we were all warming up. She comes out, of, out for the beginning of practice. And she goes, um, Leslie, your mom called me today. <laughs> and she informed me that she would be the one to tell us when you would not have to wear that nose brace again. <laughs> I'm like, OK. So I literally wore that nose brace through the whole season. I mean, and my, I remember my Uncle Casey was always upset because he hated when they had pictures of me with this big nose brace in the in the newspaper but uh, a great family I couldn't I mean I couldn't ask for a better family uh, people talk about growing up with a silver spoon in their mouths and I honestly was born into a platinum family and uh, believe it or not I've got like 84 first cousins so when I was coaching a lot of the players would say you know uh, coach Nichols I ran into one of your cousins probably was you know but a big family um, my husband's here tonight Alan Carter Thank you, actually. I guess Al and I started dating uh, the end of my senior year. Um, Brenda Cowan told him I liked him, and luckily <laughs> he was single, so it all worked out. Um, but there's also uh, two people that I'd like to just uh, share a story about, and uh, they're no longer with us. Uh, I actually have uh, one of them, their families here, just to kind of represent them. and. Um, the two individuals are my assistant high school basketball coach and the PE teacher at Henry Clay. And um, I don't know if some of y'all may know Andy Green. He uh, played baseball here, but uh, the PE teacher was Miss um, Rents, was Andy Green's uh, grandmother. And um, the story kind of goes like this. The assistant coach, uh, Mr. Evans, was um, had he always understood kind of what we needed to, to go to the next level. And um, he knew Miss Rents. Miss Rents was a very popular PE t teacher, kind of eccentric. Uh, she was the one that uh, loved boys. Uh, she would work out like Cliff Hagen's son, Kip, and that was what she was kind of known for, is working the guys out and making them better. And uh, Mr. Evans had begged Miss Rents to work me out. He says, you know, I really want you to work Leslie Nichols out. I mean, I think she needs it. And, you know, I had my goals, wanted to become Miss Basketball and wanted to go to college. and. Uh, be successful and so uh he uh he begged her and she's block i don't mr evans i don't like girls which i never understood because she had four daughters and one of them's name was leslie <laughs> but um but finally she said yes to uh working me out and so mr evans he said well leslie you know you need to every day during lunch you need to report to the girls locker room and mr Evans is going to work you out i'm like okay so the first day I went and she worked me out and it was, it was very hard. I mean, I, I thought I was going to die. So the second day I said, I was just stressed all, all morning long before, you know, lunch. And I said, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go back. And I was like, what am I going to tell her? So I finally went down to the locker room and I opened up the door. I said, uh, Miss Rance, I'm not going to be able to work out with you today. I got to go home and do something for my mama. And I ran back out. So I got out that day, and so I finally, I said, well, gosh, I said, Mr. Evans has begged Ms. Rents to work me out every, you know, and I, I can't let him down. He spent a whole year begging her. So mind you, I went back, and every day for a year and a half, uh, Ms. Rents worked me out. And she was one of those, you know, statistician type of ladies, and she would um, write down everything I did, all my jump ropes, everything. And it finally got to a point where, um, when I was working out, I didn't really have any room or any margin for error as far as um, doing anything wrong. Everything had to be perfect. And when I got to that point, it, 
my workouts were even more difficult. And uh, I would, I would, I would start to cry sometimes when I didn't think I was going to make it. And when I would break down, she, I remember her telling me, she says, uh, Leslie, I want you to say one thing. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So from that point on, anytime I thought I couldn't make it, I would have to say that scripture. And uh, there were times where I would cry and she would actually let me, believe it or not, Miss Rents would let me lay my head in her lap and cry. And I mean, I did. And uh, I think, you know, looking back, I would not be standing here and accepting this award and not have had these, the success that I had at UK. Uh, you know, sometimes people felt like that I was a little lackadaisical or everything looked so easy, but it didn't come easy. You know, if it wasn't for that hour every day in the locker room with Miss Rents, uh, she just had me mentally, physically ready, uh, spiritually ready. She always, you know, she was the one that um, kind of helped me to understand who and where all my strength would come from. And um, I just, I hope that her and Mr. Evans are looking down today and I hope that they're proud and I'm just, it's just a story that um, I wanted to share with everyone. And again, uh, y'all's grandmother, I, I'm just so thankful for her, you know, very thankful and she was a very special lady. Um, I haven't thought, thanked my teammates, and um, I know I've gotten, got, gotten a little long-winded, but I do want to thank my, uh, everybody that I've ever played with. I mean, we all know that without them, I mean, it's just not possible either. Um, the fans, I had the privilege of experiencing playing in front of 10,000 folks um, my freshman year, which was the attendance record for the most fans to ever attend a women's basketball game back then. And, and I mean, there's nothing like running out there, you know, as a freshman in front of 10,000 people. And back then people smoked cigarettes at the games. And I remember it being so smoky, so, so smoky. But I can remember, you know, when they announced me to run out, I just, I wanted to just cry. I, I just couldn't believe all these people were here to see me. And um, it's just great to see the women's team doing so well. And I'm so proud of them. And, proud of all the fans that come out and support them. Uh, but uh, everybody that's here from my family, thank you all very much. My mom's telling me to hurry up. <laughs> I did a great job because if my mom wasn't here, I think I would have cried. But if you know my mom, I have to stay strong for her. Love you, mama. I'm getting off. Thank you all very much.